April 1st. The reading is entitled, Enlightened Through the Spirit. Take time to be holy, let him be thy guide, and run not before him, whatever be in his word. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that he may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Ephesians 1.18 The Apostle Paul makes supplications to God that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe, according to the working of his mighty power? Ephesians 1, verses 17 through 19. But the mind must first be made adaptable to the nature of the truth to be investigated. The eyes of the understanding must be enlightened, and heart and mind brought into harmony with God, who is truth. He who beholds Jesus with the eye of faith sees no glory in himself, for the glory of the Redeemer is reflected into the mind and heart. The atonement of his blood is realized, and the taking away of sin stirs his heart with gratitude. Being justified by Christ, the receiver of truth is constrained to make an entire surrender to God and is admitted into the school of Christ that he may learn of him who is meek and lowly of heart. A knowledge of the love of God is shed abroad in his heart. He exclaims, Oh, what love! What condescension! Grasping the rich promises of faith, he becomes a partaker of the divine nature. His heart being emptied of self, the waters of life flow in, and the glory of the Lord shines forth. Perpetually looking unto Jesus, the human is assimilated by the divine. The believer is changed into his likeness. We all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, that is, from character to character, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. 2 Corinthians 3.18 The human character is changed into the divine. It is the spiritual eye that discerns this glory. It is veiled, shrouded in mystery, until the Holy Spirit imparts this discernment to the soul. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.